Hey everybody, welcome back to HNS Collectibles. This is Cody. Uh, so it's Colored Vinyl Tuesday. Um, and this is one that was just in the hall this past weekend. Uh, but the Friday the 13th Part 3 Waxwork uh, soundtrack. Um, uh, I've still got it in the sleeve here because it's got the hype sticker there. Um, Friday the 13th Part 3, music by Harry Manfredini. Remastered for vinyl, 180 gram colored vinyl. Art by Ghoulish Gary Pullen with a 3D lenticular cover. And I love lenticular covers. I don't know what it is. It just, it takes me back to, it takes me back to like the VHS days, you know, and seeing lenticular covers in at the, at the video store. Um, and the, the movies with lenticular covers were usually never good, <laughs> uh, uh, it seems like. But, uh, yeah, this is just cool. I hope it shows up on camera. Um, but, uh, dang it, I got a glare going there. But um, You can see some of it shifting around. Uh, so I got this from uh, Orbit DVD. Um, very cool store. Got an online uh, store. Um, but got it for what I thought was a reasonable price. Much cheaper than it is typically on eBay or on Discogs, um, you know, but there's Pamela jumping up out of the water. And then I thought this was interesting. The inside work is uh, from the deleted ending, right? Um, and, and I like the way they kind of put a, uh, a film reel at the top and the bottom. So very cool. Now to look at the records themselves. There was two different versions of this from what I can tell. There was a, uh, a blue and red splatter, uh, you know, for the blue and red 3D effect, and also just plain blue and red discs. And I was, I didn't know what I was getting. Um, I was hoping I might get the splatter. I thought that's probably what looked the best. Um, sorry, my battery's dying. Uh, so what do we got here? Here is uh, da, da, da. this is album one. Uh, so I was hoping for the blue and red splatter, and instead I got the solid blue and red. So the red, um, I don't know if you can see it. Is I wouldn't call it a marble or a swirl, but when you look at it through the light. Um, there is a little bit of wispiness, mainly around the label. Um, maybe it's showing up. I'm sorry. I need to figure out a better way to light some of these uh, uh, record videos. But uh, there's the label. And then I kind of like this. One side is the girl's eye. And record two is the blue one. But... Uh, like I said, I hope for the splatter I got this. I'm happy either way because it's a fantastic score. This one is more translucent, so you can already see me and you know my sweatshirt through it. And there's a lot more, like I said, that just little blue wisps of color darker through there. That's somewhat visible on the red, not like it is on the blue. Um, yeah same kind of uh, label there and then the other side her eye is bleeding and i kind of figure she you know I i'm thinking that's the eye of the one who got the spear in the eye i don't know that's just one of my favorite kills from that movie was the spear gun along with the dude that gets his head crushed and his eye pops out at you um that's a fun one part three is part three is a good one uh, so anyway, that's it. Um, glad to have this in my collection. I'm not trying to... I didn't set out to try to collect all the Friday the 13th waxwork releases. But now I have parts 3, 4, 6, 7, and 8. Um, I can't really see myself wanting to shell out any money for part 9 if they do part 9, which is the next one to do because part eight is the most recent one that they did i've not heard any announcements on what the next one is going to be um i might consider like a freddy versus jason and and then honestly 
parts one through four, there is so much recycled music between parts one through four that by buying the part four record, I felt like I pretty much had the first two movies in the bag. Um, I wanted to get this one in particular for the opening theme and also you know for the the ending theme too uh, but there's good little pieces in here that i don't know are quite like the other movies um and, and if you listen to them there you can recognize them six six and seven are different than the others um and then eight it became fred molan i think doing the music at that point so the music in part eight and then the music of like Friday the 13th, the series by that same composer, um, you know, stand alone from some of this earlier stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm, I don't think I'll, and I'm rambling now. I, I, I'm sorry. I've passed two or three videos I've made. I've got to rambling. Uh, so yeah, I don't think I'm going to try to collect them all, but I'm definitely going to collect the ones that speak to me. And, uh, uh, one that I know I passed on, I passed on part five. I could have bought part five. I should have probably, if I wanted it, I should have bought it from Waxwork when it was like $35. Um, I saw it, I think, at FYE for 45 or 50 And just did not want to shell out that much cash for it, especially when so much of it is recycled. Um, I mean, there's only, <laughs> there's only really so many, so many different tracks within those first few movies. Um, but yeah, this one, couldn't pass it up. Lenticular cover, cool artwork, blue and red, why not? So that's it for now. Um, I got three more colored vinyls coming in the mail, so it should be colored vinyl Tuesdays for the next at least three weeks coming up. And then somewhere in there, I hope to God, I get my Godzilla set. Um, it's been pushed back to May. I don't know when in May, uh, but I just cannot wait for that beast of a set to arrive, so... Uh, hope to show it to you soon and uh, that's it for now like and subscribe if you haven't uh, everybody stay safe take care of each other and come back and see me thanks